Hi everybody. Um, Tuesday afternoon. As I said earlier, if you watched my video before this, so probably about the same day, um, I'm going to, we're going to do, well, my husband did it actually, the plague doctor, because my son would like this one. As you can see, it's here. It's all nice and finished from Diamond Art Club. And the size is, the size of the canvas is 55.8 centimetres by 78.7 centimetres. So really, I'd put that in a 60 by 80 frame if you wanted to frame it. Christopher Lavelle is the artist and it's by Diamond Art Club. And it's, the drills are round for this one. And we have 19 colours with two ABs and it's perfect um so my, as I say my husband let me show you around it and then you'll talk a little bit about it what he did and that so let's try and get it's beautiful how I didn't know it would look so this looks leather so it really looks authentic the colors a lot of people might think it's quite muted but I can't get over this sparkle me let me show you if you can show you with this. This is my reading light and books. And this is a corner of it. You know, when the light goes over. Yeah. Oh, it's doing it better without it, I think. There we are. Look at that sparkle, guys. Really, seriously. This is just fantastic. Don't be put off by the muted colours. I was amazed when I saw this and my husband finished it. It's just beautiful. So, I let my husband talk to you a little bit about it. Case, what did you think of it overall? Um, I enjoyed doing it. The only problem is it took me a long time to do. Yeah, I know, because you don't I, do it all the time, yeah. I don't do it all the time. I mean, I do it matter. as and when. Yeah. And I'm a single placer, which means I place one drill down at a time. That's the way you like to do it, yeah. And that's how I like to do it. Um, I don't. I haven't found any trash in it whatsoever. Um, what was your favourite part about it? I think the bait. I know that there's a lot of dark colours in it, and I think if you don't like dark colours, then you're going to be put off by it, but. It didn't bother me because, I mean, with me just doing, you know, single place in every deal, every drill is a space that's filled up. Um, and then you've got your, your your robin, which is, you know, like a mixture of orange and red. And it's like it's something, brush, so so he, something that's portrayed as like spooky, scary, and he's whole painting a robin. It's like. He's wanting to see the colour in the robin. Maybe he's painted it on then. The bird was this colour. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed, enjoyed it because it's like... Is it relaxing it, for you? Yeah, because I, I don't have a set time. I don't set myself goals to do stuff. I mean, I do it as and when, you know, if it fits into my schedule. Because otherwise, if I do, I'll get too stressed otherwise if if i've got a big painting to do and i divide it up and then there's like sections to do and i think to myself oh i've got to get this done by that that day this day whatever you use I'll, the tape just get don't you out. wash your tape crisscross yeah you find it easier doing it that way yeah um, and any any of the um drills that i haven't stuck down I just uh, put release paper over that area. Right. When I finish, you know, for the night. To say you didn't get that square just, done. You know, if I haven't finished that square. So there's been no problem at all. Stickiness but is have, good. But the stickiness is good. But it's like I say, um, something, if you want something like this, that's, you know, by, you know, a true artist, um, your best frame in it. I mean, it's, best place yeah. to frame it. I mean, we live in the UK. I have got frames before, and I've got them from the range or hobby. Well, range is about cheap. It's the cheapest. You're talking about twenty pounds in the UK. Mm. 
whereas Hobbycraft is a bit more expensive. Yeah. But with this size of um, picture, you can buy mount mount boards for them and put them inside the actual I think picture they call frame. Matt in America. Matt. And and it gives it a bit of a background and it will and it will actually act that as way support. You can when say like the picture is a, a difficult size. Um, with the mount boards, you can come in a couple of inch or one inch, can't you? Yeah. And same at the top and bottom. That way, if you've got an odd size, just get a frame and then get the mount boards like that. Or you can even put a little, get a big mount board and cut the square out yourself. But if you've got a really extra large um, diamond painting, the cheapest option would be if you is to seal it. Mm. And then stick it on a canvas board. That's quite good, and I've done that a lot. And um, that's a that's an inexpensive way of yeah. um, you know. I framing just can't get the... over there. This one is truly, really, really glimmery. But none of them have popped out. Right. Yeah. None of the drills have popped out. They're still in there. Don't know what I'm seeing and what they're seeing is a bit different. The same. I don't know if this will do it. It's reading light here. Over. Let's show it there. Sorry for looking at you then. Yeah, it, no, it's really, really glimmery, guys. It really is. It's the most sparkliest, I think, I've ever done, really, that you've known, mm -hmm. that I've ever bought. Because, like I say, it, when, you, when you do get them, don't put pressure on yourself to do. A set amount in a set amount of time just do it as and when and take it easy yeah all right guys so hope you enjoyed that little video not too long um but we just wanted to show you what we've done and maybe my husband might show you how we do the framing if we get the frame and that yeah when when i get the frame for it i'll yeah i'll tell you where it where I got it from and the price and how it looks inside the frame as well. Yeah, and how to order the size and that, yeah. Okay, guys, that's for a soon-to-be video. Okay, hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.